What do you think changed for the Cavs between rounds? Matchups is the first thing. I was saying this going into the series. I thought that Toronto would pose fewer problems for Cleveland than Indiana did, even though Toronto was the better team. Maybe the other Cavs saw the SNL skit and were motivated. But, you know, the Pacers' quick guards gave the Cavs a lot of problems on both sides. Uh, Thad Young really neutralized Kevin Love, and George Hill was hurt. In this series, a lot of those things reversed. Kevin Love had his way with Valanciunas on the perimeter. George Hill was back in the lineup, and the Cavs' starting five is really clicking with Hill, J.R. Smith, Corver, LeBron, and Love. They're plus 17.5 in net rating during the playoffs. So it's a myriad of factors, and then, of course, the LeBron factor, and right. the Raptors had no answer for him. It's like we should have seen this coming, even though it looked like LeBron was on the ropes a couple of times, and I do think that the other starters are really starting to uh, kick into high gear is important. This stat kind of jumped out at me. The starters versus the Pacers, 69.3 points per game versus the Raptors, 91.8 points per game. So LeBron's getting finally that contribution from the other guys. But I think the mental narrative here is key too, especially for Toronto. It's real that LeBron is absolutely in their head and they had him on the ropes in game one. He was right there. They were they needed to take, take that death blow and they weren't able to get it against LeBron. And I knew after that happened, I was like, ooh, they are smelling this narrative is in their heads and they can smell it cleveland can smell it there's no overstating how real that was in this in this uh, series as well